Hey, it's me, Vicky Marie, with a coffee. Cheers. Okay, bibbity bobbity boo, bringing positivity to you. So, here's number six, day six in my advent calendar. So just bringing you every day, building up to Christmas, something positive, hopefully something that will make you smile. Um, no matter if you're dreading Christmas or you're loving Christmas, looking forward to it. Christmas can be a fantastic time of year, can't it? But it can also be a difficult time of year. And I know there's a few of you out there, a few of my chatters, um, you know, have... Uh, Things have happened like bereavements or lost pets or people are poorly or, you know, there, there'll be lots of people, lots of you out there maybe not looking forward to Christmas for whatever reason. So I'm here just to make you smile, bring you a bit of positivity and every day I'll be here leading up to Christmas, whether you like it or not. <laughs> I know it's probably some of you out there thinking, oh God, not her again. No. So, yeah, bibbity bobbity boo, bringing love and festive wishes to you. I'm really enjoying the bibbity bobbity boo bit. I'm getting a bit carried away with it now. Okay, so what we're going to look at today, uh, I'm going to show you a little video that I took yesterday to give you a little look again at where I live. Um, that's what we're going to look at first. So let's have a look. Oh, and I want to say thank you to everybody, you know, all my subscribers and members. I've got a lot. I don't know if any of you were watching the live that we did last night. It was so much fun. And uh, I've seemed to have ended up with a lot more members after it. So there's a lot of membership gifting going on, trying to gift a particular person and it just didn't work. Uh, so unfortunately, that's the problem with the gifting of memberships, which is so kind, but you can't target a certain person. Um, but anyway, all of you that woke up this morning to a gifted membership to my channel, I hope uh, you know you enjoy it. We'll be welcoming you to the family on Friday on the members live. Right. OK, let me find this to show you. Ah, so the first thing I wanted to show you. Um, I know I've told you a couple of times, I think I mentioned the other day uh, that outside my local supermarket, there's a woman normally who sits there with a little dog and I was ranting about money, you know, like um, it's rare these days, isn't it, to have cash, you know, just to have some cash in your pocket because we do everything by we do everything by card now, don't we? Bank transfer, etc. You know, so cash is just not as. Um, so I've rarely got sort of loose change, and I like to give. It was the guy today. I don't know if it's her husband or whatever, but it wasn't the lady today. When the guy is there with the dog, he sits sits there in a wheelchair with the dog. Obviously, the dog's there to pull at people's heartstrings to give him a little bit of money. And um, I did have a euro to get because I was devastated the other day that I only had 14 cents uh, to give this person. Anyway, today I had, well, today, yesterday it was, I had a euro. It was great. I had a euro. So I'm going to add this photo to the Christmas collection after this video. And this is the little dog and he's all dressed up in a his Christmas outfit. And I said, do you mind if I take a photo? And he said, no, guappy, no. He always calls me guappy because he that means like, oh, pretty. But he calls me that because he thinks that may, means I'll give him some money. I know that. And um, he said, no, no problem. And I said, oh, that little dog just sat there and it loved having its picture taken. It's a cute little dog. It's so calm. I hope it's not, it's not drugged. I don't think it is. Uh, it's very calm. It's just used to it now. It's been sitting outside the, that supermarket for years. So uh, anyway, so I always try and give them something, whatever loose change I've got. And, um, you know, it's so sweet. He always seems grateful anyway. So. so that's the first thing I wanted to show you. I just want to make sure that's coming up. Yes, it is. 
Okay, and then I went to where I used to walk my dogs. Um, you know, it's not it's it's on the outskirts of my little village. Um, it's not that far away. I could walk to it. Really, it's just it's just a pain. Then walk into it. It's all uphill, um, and then bringing the dogs back. And then if 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 one of them. Oh, it's a bit of a long story, but if Riley, the white dog, gets off the lead, he can be hours coming back, and then it's sometimes the only way to get him back is to drive off in the car, leave the door open, and then he'll come and jump in. You, honestly, you won't believe what I've had to do sometimes to get him back in. Well, I don't let him off the lead now, but just in case he gets off the lead. Anyway, it's just awkward and, and sometimes, of course, it's either boiling hot or freezing cold normally in Spain. So in the summer, you certainly want to walk, wouldn't want to walk up the hill to this place. So yesterday I went there. Uh, I think I've been there once before since I got the car, but this is the first time in the day that I went there. And oh, let me show it you first. I just stop it. Well, so now there's a story to this uh, land. Like years ago, in the boom, just after the year 2000, there was a huge building boom in Spain. Uh, just like the, you know, because Spain reflects quite because there's a lot of um, foreigners living, not only British people but other nationalities, and especially in the area where I live. Um, how the, if the other countries are doing well, then Spain does well because people come here, they spend money, they buy houses, etc. Especially in this particular part of Spain, especially. Um, and so there was a boom, you know, there were houses being built. You know, my village before that, there were only a thousand people lived in my village before that boom. Uh, I'm not sure exactly how many there are now, uh, but a lot more than a thousand. And then there's a lot of what they call urbanizations that are not in the town centre, but that sort of uh, radiate around the town centre, but they're still in the municipality of my village. And they started building this. They, they call it an urbanization. I suppose that's like an estate, what we would refer to as an estate. And they started building this, they put in, and recently a law was passed, or just before 2000, a law was passed in Spain that whenever they built anything, uh, they had to put in, first of all, before they put the houses in, they had to put in the infrastructure, like the lights, the pavements, because there were problems before, from before that, from urbanizations built in the 80s, 70s, 80s, where they just built the houses first. People bought the houses, moved in, but and they never built the pavements or the um, the lights and things like that. So it's just no, they in the end, you know, those builders, I don't know, they went bust or whatever happened. So in the end, the actual residents of those estates themselves had to all get together, contribute money each to get their pavements put in and to get their lights connected properly, or the town hall had to step in as well so it was a bit of a mess so they passed a law not only here that was that was all over Spain so they passed a law in, uh, either in Spain or it may have been in just in our community the Spain's divided into uh, autonomous communities but anyway the upshot of it was there's a law that before building houses before building any houses you had to put in the infrastructure first so You'll see this in a minute. You'll see the whole area of this. Um, so they were obviously just about to build a massive uh, estate, if you like, urbanisation. They built two blocks of flats. But, you you know, they were getting ready to build. Gosh, they put benches in. They put um, all the lights going around, all the electricity, etc. And then we had the uh, bust. You know, and literally, I tell you, in Spain, that just happened overnight. It went from one day, it felt like, you know, everything was brilliant and there were new things opening and things being built and everything was expanding. And then literally the next day, everything was closing down and people were going back to the UK. A lot of expats were going back to the UK because they couldn't get work. Um, it just crashed. I mean, it literally crashed and burned. And so this urbanisation, 
uh, was already there or they'd started building it, putting the infrastructure, but they never built the houses because then all the building companies just flopped. People didn't have work. Um, you know, I mean, it was a really, really bad time in Spain, the recession, and um, or in this area anyway of Spain. So, and this urbi, as we call them, the urbanization, it just fell into disrepair. So, I mean, the pictures you're seeing here, they've cleared it. Now, this was a surprise to me because it's the first time that I'd seen that they've actually started doing something with it again. It was it became overgrown. Um, just, I mean, I've probably got some pictures somewhere of how it was. Uh, because in it, it, like looking at that now, how clear it is, that was all like scrub and bushes and overgrown. Um, and now it's been cleared again. So we used to call it the ghost urbanization, the uh, urbanization de fantasma, because that's where it looked. It was quite eerie, you know, and everyone used to start taking their dogs there because it's like a place. No, no houses, no people, the dogs can run around. Um, and it started to become like a dog walker's place, really. But it was quite uh, spooky because now it's open, but before it wasn't, there's was all bushes and things and there's like um, abandoned parks because they built parks for kids and things like that, but they were sort of abandoned. And it was really quite a spooky place. So, well, you won't walk around it at night because those lights, they don't work, not yet. They've not been connected up. They were all put in, but they were never connected up. So it's pitch black uh, at night time. It's really quite spooky. But having said that, I never really went there at night. I would never go there at night. But I always go there early in the morning before it gets light. And um, there's quite a few people there walking their dogs, and my dogs would play with them. And, you know, it's it wasn't really scary then because there's one block of flats so there are, is some light coming from that block of flats so as long as you stayed near there you did have a bit of light and anyway i'd take my torch and take the dogs for a walk so we went there yesterday for the first time oh my god i couldn't believe it it's been cleared completely so i had heard rumors that the town the town hall we're going to take it on again because the thing is nobody would take it on it's this you know great big stretch of uh, land it's going to cost it will have cost a lot to clear it if you could have seen it before the way it is now somebody's paid for that so i think it's the town hall took it on um because it was really owned by builders that had gone bust uh and i think the town hall sort of took on all the debts because that's what happens in spain you buy a place piece of land or whatever you have to take on the debts as well with it so i expect the town hall took it on didn't have to pay anything for the land but had to clear all the debts etc i don't know all the ins and outs but anyway so and they've gone out there and they've cleared it completely so we'll have a little look at this it's only a short video Rocky. Rocky. oh by the way yeah, you hear me shouting at Rocky because there was a car coming. There's very few cars. Uh, there is a. I was on st standing on a road, but it's very rare you see a car on it. It's probably one of the builders or something. And Rocky was off his lead, so I was shouting at him to get him to stay stay next to me. So yeah, you will hear me shouting at Rocky a little bit. He's very good, Rocky. He does when you shout him, when you tell him to stay, he does. Just want to show you this used to be, this is where they're building my village. This used to be literally the last time I came here, my dog, it was all what you call Panto. Yeah, it was all like this. You know, it become overgrown with trees, etc., and wild flowers, and um, you know, it was sort of beautiful in a weird way. Look at that! So it's completely cleared. I mean, 
that's all happened while I haven't had a car. And what they've done here, and there were plants here before, but they they'd got overgrown and what have you. They've cleared them all and they've planted new plants. So this the this plastic, there's little cactus succulents coming up there in these little holes there. They've planted them all the way along. I mean it goes right up there and goes right back as well. So that's cost a little bit of money, that definitely for someone at the council, I suppose. All this was all the pavement was half covered with plants, etc. I just couldn't believe it when I saw it. Oh, see, like this is what they'd set up before. They'd put these uh, mm, like shelters, if you like, out of the sun so people can sit on the bench and chat or whatever. They were there from last time, and so they've left them there, so they're obviously going to do them up, do something with them. Yeah, the only thing that made me a little bit sad was, oh, God, the rabbits that were there, like my dogs, the white one, especially Riley, because he loves hunting rabbits. He'd be off running through all the uh, undergrowth and everything, chasing rabbits. And you know, he only ever caught one, and that was a, it was only a baby rabbit. And I think it, it was ill. I think it had myxomatosis because um, it didn't run away. Any rabbit that ran away from him, he would never catch it. So, yeah, I did think, oh, what's happened to all the wildlife? Because there was rabbits, there was owls, there was these, like, little vole things, there was snakes, there was uh, grebes or whatever, different birds and things. So, yeah, it's a shame in a way. But, you know, there you go. Yeah, my Rocky was over there having a sniff around. He's as good as gold. You call him back if I call as soon as I call him back, he comes straight back. It's the other one. Yeah, so it, um, I just thought, actually, I meant to show that these, oh, there's that little dog again. But these are some pictures that I've taken, not recently, but maybe last year of sunsets in my village. We do get some lovely skies. Get some very beautiful skies. So because I normally take my dogs out so early in the morning, I quite often get sunrise. I rarely get sunsets because normally I'm sort of tucked in bed by then. But, uh, yeah, some beautiful skies. Yeah, so I just thought I'd show you them. A bit of positivity in the morning, some beautiful skies. Okay, what am I going to show you now? Oh, so for those of you who watched the live last night, you will have seen these this already, but some of you won't have seen it. Let's have a look. Uh, no, not that one. I think it's that one. Yeah. So one of my subscribers has sent me this lovely little photo. They've treated themselves to a new addition to the family. So, and this is a baby chihuahua. It's only two weeks old. And it can't leave its mummy yet, of course. It's too, uh, it's too small yet to leave its... Oh, 
Where did it go? Um, yeah, it's too small yet to leave his mummy. And it won't be ready to go to its new home, to my subscriber's home, until the 27th of January. And uh, in a very nice gesture, I think, because, of course, the 27th of January, that's a year anniversary coming up to when Nikki went missing, Nicola Bully went missing. Um, that's going to be the name of the little puppy, Nikki, which I think is a, a really nice tribute. He looks like a little mole, doesn't he, with his cute little paws, or her cute little paws. I've got into the habit of calling dogs uh, his now because my two dogs are boys. But yeah, so I thought I'd show you that. So this is Nikki, and I'm sure we'll get many updates from where, when the dog finally comes, you know, goes to its new home, and I'm sure we'll get lots more photos as time goes on. I just wanted to show you that because it's sweet. Okay, so now we're going to look at the Christmas. Got lots more Christmas things again. If your Christmas picture is not on here, means I just haven't got around to uh, downloading it yet. But lots of nice pictures on here. Right, I'm just going to share it. It's your daily dose of Christmas um until we actually get to christmas yeah so we've got trees dogs with snowmen got lovely outside lights lovely inside lights trees lovely decorations oh that's lovely isn't it another tree trees again can't get enough trees lovely decorations it just it is so lovely having all the lights on and everything another lovely tree there's the christmas stockings ready to be filled up yeah people sent me some animals so i just picked uh they were a bit too late really for the animal one but i picked the more christmasy typey ones robins Swan, beautiful swan. My favourite picture, I think, this one. <laughs> well, I, this is a member of my family, actually, their dogs, and uh, those dogs will be spoiled right now. I just know that for a fact. There you go, those Jim's goats, Boris and Billy. There they are again. <laughs> I think this is from a garden centre that somebody sent me. There's a little video as well. Three lovely doggies. Two more lovely doggies. Fire. These are visitors to someone's garden. Snow outside. Another beautiful tree. Robin. Robin, another beautiful tree, snowman, look at that, that's lovely isn't it, now some outside ones, looks cold, but no snow, so the snow's obviously melted, I love the way they've done these decorations. I don't know how they're going to get them off like, but they look fantastic. Yeah, all those Christmas, uh, Christmassy things. I'd like to say that's my living room, but it's not <laughs> by any stretch of the imagination. Oh. <laughs> oh dear, how funny.
Uh -huh. And here you go. So there's two deers coming now into someone's garden. Zeus trying to get the ball off the Christmas tree. The lovely four dogs. The Christmas train. I bet those kids, I bet they love that. Marvin the donkey. Oh, so somebody said this is a new one. This is Manchester. Not this year, but a couple of years ago. This is the, um, the town hall in Manchester. And uh, this was how it was done up a couple of years ago. And this, my brother, one of my brothers, he abseiled down this. I suppose it's our equivalent of Big Ben or Manchester's equivalent of Big Ben. One of my brothers abseiled down it for charity one year. Oh. Wow. Yeah, I wonder what it's like this year, Manchester Town Centre, at night when the you know the lights are on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now this is one of my subscribers with um a pussy cat. Uh, again, it was a little bit too late for the animals, so I've just put it in here because cats are always Christmassy, aren't they? Or animals are. Yeah. I can do Cats are real posers, aren't they? I mean, they do like posing. Oh. Oh, and you might have seen there a little brother, um, uh, sorry, sister, the German Shepherd as well. Just want to mention Tia. She's called Tia as well, or Tiara. Say as well, because my son's German Shepherd is called Tia. Father Christmas. I love this cat, Shadow, the Manx cat, another poser. Father Christmas on the Christmas train. Shadow with her own little tree and presents. Posing again. Posing again. <laughs> the beautiful cat. What beautiful cat? My little tigra at her last Christmas, bless her. Shadow again posing. One of my subscribers in her Christmas hat looking beautiful. Alexa, turn on Christmas lights. Alexa, turn on Christmas lights. <laughs> How does Alexa do that? I don't understand. I must get an Alexa. Somebody's house uh, that they decorate every year, apparently, for charity. There it is. Looks beautiful. Another beautiful house, all decorated. And Zeus finally got the ball <laughs> off the Christmas tree. So there you go. That's the Christmas pictures. There'll be more, obviously. People keep sending them. I still haven't been out in Spain yet to get, uh, our, you know, to our sort of local uh, shopping centre to get the lights. I'll be doing that at some point probably over the weekend. Got a busy day today, Wednesday. Look, my wig is falling off again. Wednesday's always a very busy day for classes. 
I'm going to try and do a live later on today because uh, I think that was lovely. That live yesterday it was like a, just an impromptu one. But um, yeah, don't finish work till. What time does? Seven o'clock. Seven o'clock this evening, uh, which is six o'clock in the UK, so it probably will be early enough anyway i'll see i'm not sure i haven't decided but i will let you know uh, some people were saying they're having problems with notifications um you know i don't know what to do but if you've pressed the bell for all notifications you should really let me see if i can show you uh what you should do let me think of a youtube channel This is one of my favourite YouTube channels. He's He's got a few subscribers. So he's got 1.92 million subscribers. I've been following this guy uh, for years. I can't remember how many he had when I first started following him. He certainly didn't have that many. It just goes to show you, you know, it can be done. But it's a it's a true crime channel. It's very interesting channel. His videos are very interesting. Anyway, so when you go on someone's channel, we want to make sure you get notifications. So you've got where you've got subscribed, because I'm subscribed here. And then the little bell there, press the thing at the side, and it asks you, you know, do you want to unsubscribe? Do you want no notifications? Do you want certain notifications? <laughs> excuse me bless me do you want personalized notifications in other words only some or do you want all notifications and on this channel i am uh, on all notifications please because I, I i haven't managed to watch actually his last couple of videos so i've got a few to watch but um it's just all been busy but um i know they're there to watch when i want to watch but just to let you know, so if you want to make sure that you get notifications of everything, lives, a new video being out, I, I think you might get notification of community posts as well. Go in with the little bell where it says subscribe, press and make sure all is pressed and then you will always get notifications. So, hope that helps. So, let him um, thank you again so much. I never put my little pick her up offer it up just to finish off so yeah thanks all watching liking subscribing being members buying me a kofi sending me a super sending me an email and even my trolleys thank you so much so bibbity bobbity boo sending positivity to you so i hope you all have a fantastic day i hope you've enjoyed enjoyed today's advent calendar you know something different every day i just try and bring you something a little bit positive uh, every day because god knows we need some positivity don't we so remember live and love wisely carefully see you really soon in the next video and then until then may your god go with you thank you so much thank you Oh, I didn't turn it off yet.